Hello everyone, Mr. Happy here, and welcome back to Pokemon Go Log, Episode 2. Now in this episode, we are going to be covering some feedback from Episode 1, considering it was the pilot. That way you guys know that I see your feedback. On top of that, we are going to be covering a new area that I went to go catch some Pokemon, actually the same day as the last episode. So it's basically later that night over the course of like four or five hours. So I have a lot of footage to get through. So for feedback based on episode one, let's go over a few things that were covered in the comment section. For one, Mr. Happy, you're not even a Pokemon fan. Why are you playing this? Well, it's true I haven't played any of the recent generations. I stopped playing after Silver and Gold, so Gen 2. Uh, I did have all 151 Pokemon in Red version, no Game Shark. I lived in New Jersey, so Rockefeller Center was just a stone's throw away. I didn't know about the Mew glitch back then, although I did just do that earlier today on the live stream for some fun. I also ended up having 251, although the Celebi, I think I got the Celebi from somebody who cheated. It was like level 5. Traded, traded him for it at like the local baseball field or something. But... Yes, it has been a while since I played a Pokemon. Luckily, Pokemon Go currently only has Generation 1 Pokemon, so feeds right into where I'm familiar. As for the second bit of feedback, which in my opinion was the only important piece of feedback, was that I should record where I am with an actual camera along with the Pokemon Go footage. Well, I am currently working on a setup that will allow me to have both my video and the video of the Pokemon Go on the screen at the same time. However, currently I'm only doing this from a single phone, so there's not really much availability there. That being said, I did record a short bit of footage right here I'll show on the screen. We were at Belmont Park for episode number two over in San Diego. Uh, Mission Beach actually is where it was. And we caught a lot of new Pokemon here, but in the future I will make sure to record the areas that I'm walking around in so you can get an idea of what kind of Pokemon I'm finding in what areas. And now with the feedback out of the way, let's get into what happened in Pokemon Log number two. So as stated, we went to Belmont Park where we walked around. There were tons of lures all over the place. This was my first time Pokemon hunting in this area, so I didn't really know what to expect. However, our friend Alan from Serious Gaming, another popular Twitch channel who has been live streaming Pokemon Go pretty much for a week straight at this point and has over 120 Pokemon, uh, he recommended this area. Him and his wife recommended this area for a lot of unique Pokemon, and we caught a lot of different stuff here. We're used to getting like Pidgeys, Geodudes, uh, Machops, things like that around the area where we live. However, when we went here, I mean, within minutes, it was Magikarp, Poliwag, Magnemite, uh, Horsey. We just caught so many Pokemon, uh, so many electric and water Pokemon at the beach. Uh, and I think I must have caught at least 15 new unique Pokemon and covered another 10KM. I actually hatched that 10KM egg. Didn't get anything too exciting. I got a Kabuto with 18 candy, but I guess that gets me closer to Kabutops. I caught a Tangela while I was there. It was fantastic, and the area was just beautiful. The San Diego beach was just beautiful. There was no clouds in the sky. It was also kind of near sundown as well, like after 6 p.m., so it wasn't too hot at the same time. After walking around for hours recording Pokemon Log 1, got to say, that didn't bother me at all. We also stopped for a few cocktails over with Alan from Serious Gaming. He was there, and we did run into him. If you watch his live stream, you'll probably see me on it occasionally. And we pretty much just walked up and down the boardwalk area. Uh, Mel and I have been using this kind of like as a bonding experience, and that's really been the number one experience for me with Pokemon Go. In terms of a Pokemon game, it's very shallow. I mean, let's be honest here. I don't even ba bother with the gym battles. It's just button mashing anyway. But really, it's just the idea of walking up and down with a group of friends, talking about the Pokemon you catch, evolving, seeing what you can get, making progress on hatching the eggs. And uh, it's definitely been a good experience for my girlfriend and myself. Uh, we do things together, obviously, but normally it's kind of just like, you know, going to the movies, grabbing something to eat, uh, you know, just staying home and hanging out. But this has been nice. I mean, this has been getting us up and active a lot more. And it's not the sole motivation, uh, but it's definitely been something that's been bringing us closer together and also allowing us to spend some more time with some of our friends uh, that we don't always get to spend time with because they're spending more time playing Pokemon Go. It's just been a great social experience for me. And honestly, without that social experience, I probably wouldn't even be doing this log right now because I want to share that social experience with you guys. And that's really the primary reason why I enjoy doing these logs in the first place. It's unfortunate that it seems like Generation 2 won't be out for quite some time. So there may be a break eventually in Pokemon logs, but until we get near 151, I'll probably be doing this on a near daily basis. Again, going back to the Pokemon that we got today, uh, let's see, Poliwag, Poliwhirl, managed to catch a wild one of those, even caught a Seedra. You know, it's funny, I was actually remembering a lot of the Gen 2 Pokemon as opposed to the Gen 1, so when I caught a Horsey, I had convinced myself it evolved into Kingdra as opposed to Seedra, then we found a wild Seedra, and I, it was like 700 plus CP, I managed to catch it after like 
20, 30 minutes, not 20, 30 minutes, like 20, 30 Pokeballs is what I meant to say. And I was just like, oh, that's right, Seedra. And then Seedra will become Kingdra eventually. And then I was also thinking about how I have an 830, that 831 gold bat from episode one. I'm going to have to evolve that into a Crobat. So I got a lot of Pokemon still to catch. I think that put me at the end of the day, I think I was at 79 unique Pokemon catches and 80 scene because we actually ran into a Magneton as well as a ton of Magnemites, but I failed to catch the Magneton. I think it ran away after like two or three attempts. I think the footage is here somewhere, but overall it was a great day. We might be going back later today, but I'm pretty tired, so I'm not 100% certain I want to go all the way to Mission Beach again. Maybe go someplace else instead and uh, do something other than just walk up and down and grab a cocktail here and there. If I do go back, though, I definitely want to get you guys some footage. There's a giant wave pool there, and it is phenomenal. I watched a guy get on a boogie board, and he just jumped on it, and it just threw him off. Like, it didn't even, it, it just, it annihilated the guy. Like, I saw some actual surfers using it to, like, kind of just show off, kind of. But then this one guy just grabbed the boogie board, he jumped onto the wave, and it just tossed him like five, 10 feet into the air and back into the water pool. It was amazing to watch. It helps that while we're watching this entire thing, there's just lures dropped around the bar. I mean, it couldn't be better. It's literally just go to a bar, grab a, grab a margarita, and then just sit there, talk to your friends, and somebody's gonna drop a lure. There were lures all over the place. Um, Alan showed us his circuit where he walks between like the four or five lures that people are always dropping, and you catch a Pokemon, you keep walking. You catch a Pokemon, you keep walking. You just don't stop, and you constantly generate length on the, on the hatches, and it went great. And on top of that, later on, we went to a place called Underbelly. Uh, it is, I don't want to say it's a ramen place, but it does have, it does have ramen there. Uh, they have rice bowls and they had uh, pork buns and edamame and it has a lot of that, but uh, it doesn't really, I wouldn't really call it Japanese food. I think it's supposed to be a Japanese restaurant, but it's very Americanized. Like it, I didn't really feel like I was eating authentic Japanese food, but it didn't stop it from being good. Alan wasn't too happy with his ramen, but that's fine. Uh, there's quite a few good ramen places here in San Diego. Maybe I'll record from one at some point for the Pokemon log. Overall though, if you're in the San Diego area, you're looking to catch Magnemites, Poliwags, uh, Ghastly was also there, Tangela. There's a lot of great Pokemon over at the beach. He actually caught a seal earlier today, which he was uh, struggling to find for quite some time. So I would recommend heading there if you're in the San Diego area. I still have a bunch of other areas to check out, but that so far has been the most diverse one. Even as we've like driven around the freeway and gone to a few different areas, that so far has definitely been the best. And I think it's because of the different types of land. I think that on on the Pokemon Go, and this isn't confirmed, but this is just for me doing the Go log. I think that based on the type of area you're in, you'll notice that your map on Pokemon Go kind of changes colors. And I think that starts to change the types of Pokemon that you find around there. Uh, I mean, we just found so many different things we've never seen before outside of maybe hatching an egg Goldeen as well. So definitely try beach areas if you're looking for water type Pokemon. Uh, make sure that on the map it shows as a beach area because I think just being by water isn't enough. I think it actually has to show as a beach type area on the Pokemon Go map. And that's going to be it for Pokemon Go Log 2. Hopefully, uh, the feedback that I got from the first one is correct. If you have any more feedback, be sure to leave it in the comment section of the video below. I don't really care too much about the people who are like, oh, not even you playing this. I'm having fun. And ultimately, on my YouTube channel, when I'm not doing 14 videos, if I'm having fun with something, I want to make videos about it. So, unfortunately, if you don't enjoy it, that's on you. I'm enjoying it, so I'm gonna have fun. And I am actually planning on picking up Sun and Moon now because November 18th is when it comes out and that falls just between World of Final Fantasy and at the end of October and Kingdom Hearts 2.8. So I have a gap right there where I don't have many things to play. So I think it's a perfect time for me to whip out my 3DS and play some Sun and Moon. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in Pokemon Go Log number three. Until then, take care.